The remaining section of a partially collapsed apartment block near Miami has been demolished over safety fears as a tropical storm approaches Florida. Prices of agricultural, livestock and fishery products in South Korea jumped 12.6% on year in the first half of 2021, according to data from Statistics Korea. Myanmar security forces have reportedly killed at least 25 people in a confrontation with opponents of the military junta. Beijing has ordered the removal of China's biggest ride-hailing company DD from Chinese app stores after finding that it had illegally collected users' personal data. And a strong explosion has shaken the Caspian Sea, where uh, the sea area where Azerbaijan has extensive offshore oil and gas fields. Well, those are our headlines today. Uh, it is, of course, a Tuesday, the 6th of July, 2021. And it's a very special day today because we have not one, but two of our very special newscasters joining me. Of course, I'm talking about Ray and Paul. 오늘은요, 특집으로 여러분이 많은 응원해 주시고 좋아해 주시는 뉴스카스터, Ray. 또 폴이 함께 스튜디오에서 저와 함께 오늘 방송 어, 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 여러분은 지금 특집으로 함께하는 EBS FM 최수진의 Morning Special을 듣고 계십니다. Well, in the studio, I have with me Ray and Paul. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sue. This is a first, all three of us together. I know. Yeah. It, it feels like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and a Friday. All in one. I know. I, Ray and I, we've passed each other like ships in the night uh, when he's been on in the first hour last season and I was in the second hour. But we never, we've never been in the studio together. So this it's a big day. Time. Yeah. First time first. for you guys to uh, be on air together. Yeah, first time. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, the first thing we're going to do together, the three of us, is to go over the headlines one more time. And, of course, we'll take a look at the stories in detail. Why don't we start off with you, Ray? Okay. The remaining section of a partially collapsed apartment block near Miami has been demolished over safety fears as a tropical storm approaches Florida. 네, 미국 마이애미 데이드 카운티에서 붕괴된 아파트 건물의 남은 부분이 폭파 철거됐습니다. 당국은 허리케인이 플로리다 주로 접근해 오면서 안전상 우려가 있다는 판단으로 철거를 실시했습니다. Yeah, for safety concerns, they've just decided to do away with and collapse the building uh, before any harm could come. Well, there's way. a big storm coming, yeah. a big tropical storm coming. So they were really worried that first responders and emergency crews could get injured while they're going through this huge pile of rubble looking mm. for survivors. Yeah. Uh, this is called a condominium in America. Now, I think in England, you don't use the word condominium to refer to apartments. No, we'd say a block of flats yeah. would be the, the normal right. thing for us. And, mm. You know, it's the same in Korea. We have terms like villa, <laughs> yeah. which we use in a very different way in, the, in Europe or in, or in the United States. In Spain, right. it's like a mansion. A villa is like a sprawling mansion, mm. usually. A huge house. A mansion being just a really expensive, yeah. massive house. Exactly. Yeah. 물과 구조물을 지칭하는 명칭들이요 나라마다 많이 다릅니다. 어, 플로리다에 있는 이 아파트 우리는 아파트라고 표현을 하고 미국에서는 컨도미니엄이라고 표현을 하고요. 뭐 영국에서는 플랫이라고 표현을 하겠죠. 네. 자 그런데 이제 지난번에 어, 두 건물 중에 한 건물이 이제 완전히 붕괴가 되는 그런 끔찍한 일이 있었는데요. 나머지도 어, 이번에는 철거를 했습니다. I would say in North America, though, usually people say condos. Yeah. Condos are usually the kind of apartments that you would buy. It's usually in a nicer building. A lot of the times they'll have gyms and entertainment complexes within the condos. Right. This one had a swimming pool in yeah, the building. Yeah. So this yeah. this is this would probably be classified as a condo, especially right, in, right. you know given the location. Mm. And as a lot of people know, uh, part of it did collapse on June 24th. 24 people um, have been known to have been killed in this, and 121 are still missing. Oh. So bringing down the rest of the structure 
hopefully allows them to get in there. And yeah. I read one article that said they're trying to access an under, underground garage, mm -hmm. which they haven't been able to thus far, and hopefully find some more people. Yeah, I remember covering this story, and it was about how engineers had said years before that uh, they needed to uh, fix some of the structures, uh, and it was not very well made and they said you know we need to do something about the structure because uh, it's they didn't say it was going to collapse but they did say you know there's there are some problems the word that i saw mm. refer uh, referring to this was that the structure could be deteriorating uh, and apparently the right. president of this building was aware of this yeah. so and, and they were about to start work on it yeah, years later but still they were about to start and then it collapsed Mm. 자 여기 보면은요 헤드라인에서 the remaining section이라는 표현이 나왔습니다. 어, 남은 부분이라는 뜻인데요. 우리 나누쌤 할때 나머지 아 이렇게 표현하잖아요. 근데 그 아가 바로 영어로 remainder입니다. 그래서 나머지라는 뜻이 있다는 것도 함께 기억해 주시면 좋습니다. Okay, uh, let's move on to our second headline, Paul. Prices of agricultural livestock and fishery products in South Korea jumped 12.6% on year in the first half of 2021, according to data from Statistics Korea. 네, 통계청 자료에 따르면 우리나라의 농축 수산물 가격이 2021년 상반기 기준 전년 대비 12.6% 상승한 것으로 나타났습니다. Do, so does that mean it's more expensive to uh, buy these? Yes, yeah. it is. And it's not just a single figure increase. It's a double figure, figure increase. In mm. fact, we haven't seen an increase like this uh, uh, since 1991, uh, where there was a 15% jump, and that's 30 years ago. Uh, so this is a very big deal for everyone who's buying, well, anything in the supermarket. We're talking yeah. about prices rising by 12.6% in just one year. Wow, that is a big leap indeed. And it's interesting to note how the English expression can be shortened so much when you write it into Korean. So you have agricultural, livestock and fishery products in Korean, 농축, uh, 농수 축산물. Yeah. Or, or oh, that would be sorry. <laughs> it's the big advantage of Korean that we're able to sort of condense everything. Mm. Uh, what what could have been at the start, fifteen characters gets condensed into five. Exactly, it's quite incredible. But in English, we don't have that facility, so yeah. we have to say agricultural, livestock, and fishery products. Mm. I guess we could use acronyms, and maybe that would be the other possibly. Yeah, yeah the yeah. English substitution for some of those things to shorten stuff. Yeah, but generally speaking, when we translate Korean to English, it does tend to become longer and vice versa when you translate it back into Korean it becomes a little shorter uh, yes yeah. um, but but in any case it's bad news for shoppers because no, prices is, are yeah. going up and I have to say one product in particular has shocked me the highest rise for this product in 27 years green onions spiked over a hundred and fifty six percent it goes shocking. in everything though I oh. know green onions I mean if you look at Korean food we're talking about pretty much every single dish yeah? has green onions touching it in some way mm. so this is this is bad news for cooks for consumers for restaurants for everyone but we're just gonna have to take it on because it's yeah. all due to the cold weather which has led to a poor harvest we've had the impact of bird flu so it's all these conditions leading to higher prices mm, indeed especially in eggs which I eat a lot of eggs so that has been bad news for my wallet mm. oh my goodness well yeah Ray is absolutely right we're talking about up 39 percent for eggs especially luckily i don't eat eggs so i'm fine oh really <laughs> i didn't know that about you all right well ray could you give us a reread of that headline sure prices of agricultural livestock and fishery products in south korea jumped 12.6 percent on year in the first half of 2021 according to data from statistics korea okay and let's move on to our next headline Myanmar security forces have reportedly killed at least 25 people in a confrontation with opponents of the military junta. 쿠데타로 정권을 잡은 미얀마 군부와 군사 정권에 반대하는 시민 방위군이 대치했습니다. 이 과정에서 군경이 무차별 총격을 가해 최소 25명이 사망했다고 현지 언론이 보도했습니다. Tell us the story. Well, apparently uh, this took place in a in a town called Depayan. And uh, youths, actually, from this town, they, they formed something called the People's Defense Force. And they, were, they formed 
specifically to oppose the junta. Um, so they took up pr positions when the, when the junta military forces entered this town, and they did confront them. However, you know, it's youths, they just come up with this force, so they kind of had what was described as makeshift weapons. Mm -hmm. So not, not proper weapons, things that they'd made, maybe traps that they'd come up with, that, that sort of thing. But the, uh, obviously, as we can imagine, military security forces, they had much heavier firepower right. and were able to really push them back and kill quite a few of them. Um, the, the news on the ground is that a total of 25 bodies, mm. unfortunately, have been collected due to the fighting. Makeshift는 보통 이제 임시방편으로 만드는 것들을 말하고요. 어 그런 무기들을 이 청년들이 만들면서 군사 정권에 대항을 했었다라는 소식입니다. 어 그, 그렇지만 이 대치를 통해 안타깝게도 이제 25명이 사망했다는 소식 전해지고 있어요. Uh, Paul, how do you pronounce the word J U N T T A? Uh, I'm getting confused now because both of you have given me different pronunciations. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. Yeah, I think Hunter is is what we use more in the in the UK. It's we but pronounce. You can say the J, both, right? The, yeah, 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 we can pronounce Junta or Hunter. Mm. Both are acceptable. It's going to be depending which company you keep. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so uh, I'll go. I don't know what should I go I, for today. It's I'm, up I'm to torn. You. <laughs> Hunter sounds cool, but it may be a little harder to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I switched to, to Junta. You. Yeah. I'd say in Canada, people usually say junta. Um, if like on BBC, I hear them say junta a yeah, lot. So yeah, yeah, I get confused too, actually. Yeah. Okay, to maybe honest. I'll use both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah switch yeah. it up interchangeably. 그래요, junta 또는 junta라고 하는 이 단어가 바로 이제 군사 정권, 군사 정부를 말합니다. Okay, let's have a reread of this article. This this headline rather. Myanmar security forces have reportedly killed at least 25 people in a confrontation with opponents of the military junta or junta. There you go. All right, let's move on. Beijing has ordered the removal of China's biggest ride-hailing company, Didi, from Chinese app stores after finding that it had illegally collected users' personal data. 네, 중국 당국이 중국 최대 차량 공유 서비스 업체인 디디 출신의 앱을 앱스토어에서 퇴출시키라고 명령했습니다. 당국은 해당 앱이 사용자의 개인 정보를 불법으로 수집했다는 이유를 들어 이 같은 지시를 내렸습니다. 음. So this is a really big site, uh, but China has ordered the app stores in China to to uh, delete the company from their stores. Uh, yes, it was a big deal because uh, Didi was put onto the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, it began trading and then four days later, suddenly the Cyberspace Administration of China swooped in and said, uh, you need to comply to Chinese data protection rules and, uh, well, got the app removed. Yeah. Um, it's a really big deal, and it's not the first time that this has happened. We've seen it happening uh, with Alibaba's fintech arm Ant. Uh, it was going to have a record-breaking IPO last November, but was forced to halt that IPO after China intervened. Right. And it's all to do with antitrust and data mm. security concerns, but certainly it, it means that uh, all these people who were suddenly using this app suddenly cannot. Yeah, yeah. I remember Jack Ma um, was very much looking forward to the Ant um, IPO, as you mentioned earlier on, but that didn't happen, or did it? No. Uh, correct me. Yeah, no, it, it did not right. happen. So yeah. it's it, this is just the latest in yeah. a series of the Chinese government clamping down on their own homegrown tech giants. Mm, there you go. What what do you mean by hailing a ride hailing app? Well, uh, uh, hail is the old word to greet. Mm. You say, hail and well met, ah. meaning, hello, how are you doing? I have <laughs> never heard that expression. <laughs> you need to go back to your Shakespeare, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a, not a, I was not a big Shakespeare fan. Yeah, but so to, to hail is to greet, so therefore if you're hailing someone, you're mm. sort of waving at them, you're saying hello, and you hail a taxi, meaning yeah. you, you put out your arm and say, over here, mate, mm. give us a lift. Oh, That's probably the most common usage of it, to That's hail a taxi. Yeah. Exactly, hail a cab, hail a taxi. 택시, 택시를 이렇게 손을 내밀어서 잡을 때 hail a cab, hail a taxi라고 표현을 합니다. 근데 여기서는 ride hailing company라고 해서 이렇게 차량 공유 서비스인 것을 이렇게 표현한 거예요. 마치 손을 내밀어서 어, 차 같이 탑시다라고 하는 것 같은 그런 이미지죠. Okay, well let's have a reread. 
Beijing has ordered the removal of China's biggest ride-hailing company, Didi, from Chinese app stores after finding that it had illegally collected users' personal data. All right, and here's our final headline. A strong explosion caused by a mud volcano has shaken the Caspian Sea area, where Azerbaijan has extensive offshore oil and gas fields. 네, 아제르바이잔 연안의 유전과 가스전이 광범위하게 자리한 카스피해 지역에서 강력한 폭발이 일어났습니다. 당국은 이 폭발이 mud volcano, 즉 진흙 화산 때문이라고 밝혔습니다. Did anyone see the video of this? Yeah, yeah. It... It was unbelievable. The cloud of smoke. And uh, then you can just see fire rising mm. up from the sea. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before yeah. until I saw this video. Yeah. I mean, but we're talking about two in the same week. Yeah, one in Mexico too, uh, right? Uh, yeah, the Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, we had this, this fire on the surface of the ocean, which is something I've never seen before. It fit, felt like a fiery vortex mm. with these boats trying to put out water onto the fire that was yeah. on the water. It was very usually, bizarre. Usually because there's a thin layer of flammable like gasoline or, or whatnot on top of the water. So mm. that ignites, which you wouldn't even think that could happen, but it, but it does. Yeah, exactly. It's something, it looks like something out of a, a, a sci-fi movie, but this is actually what's been happening. Now, when you shake something, when you, sh when you shake a person, you're literally shaking it. <laughs> yeah. But when we have natural phenomenon and that is shaking an area. We're talking about sort of hitting it, affecting it, and in this case, that's what it is, Yeah, right? there's different ways to look at it. So if you think about an earthquake or something, that would literally shake the ground or right. shake a city. Mm. But if you say somebody is shaken by something or a town, a city, a country is shaken by something, whether a natural disaster or even just some bad news, you're very, you're very affected by it. You're, mm. you're emotionally affected by it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shaken 이라고 하면은요, 뭔가 굉장히 많이 놀랐을 때좀 이렇게 떠는 그런 모습을 말하고요. 자, 여기서는 the volcano, the mud volcano, or the strong explosion, this has shaken this Caspian Sea area. 그래서 뒤 흔들었다 라는 정도의 느낌으로 보시면 되겠습니다. Okay, and let's have a reread of this final headline. A strong explosion caused by a mud volcano has shaken the Caspian Sea area, where Azerbaijan has extensive offshore oil and gas fields. Yeah. And those have been today's morning special headlines with myself and, of course, Ray and Paul. Uh,